society has told you that magic isn't real. They've, everyone, school, ouch. Oh, it's pokey. Isn't it possible that there's more going on than just what everyone's telling you is real and just this material existence? It's crazy. I've always been a bookworm, lost in fairy tales and fantasies of dragons. I've read so much about the magic of ancient rituals, I finally just had to experience one for myself. Before I arrived at Beltana, a Celtic fire and fertility festival, I saw all the Arthurian visions I imagined coming to life. Except once I landed in Dublin, all excited to celebrate Beltana, no one even knew what I was talking about. Ireland shares the same story that we hear about indigenous cultures all over the world. They lived in harmony with the earth in a matriarchal society until colonization reared its ugly head. Thousands of people were executed or else forcefully converted to Catholicism. And over many generations on this tiny emerald isle, much of the ancient wisdom and magic was lost. But here on the hill of Ishnok, the spirit of magic is alive and well. So with wands blazing, capes flowing, and the camera rolling, we witnessed the ancient way in the modern day. Beltana Festival takes place on the hill of Ishnok, the spiritual center of Ireland and resting place of the earth goddess Eru where kings and queens of ancient history were inaugurated, where saints and sages dwelled. Beltana is a celebration of fertility. Couples would jump the flames together as the fires of passion were ignited, blessing them to conceive their children. There's actually two races of, of beings. And one race is the, the Irish people. Um, the other race of beings in Ireland are known as the, the fairy race, or the she. <laughs> And uh, the she consists of the fairies, the elves, the, the gnomes, the leprechauns, and all the other hordes of uh, supernatural beings. And they're all called the she? They're called the she. The, the, because they're the energy of the goddess? Yeah, uh, the she also in Gaelic is, uh, means peace, so it's the people of peace. Oh. I think uh, I saw a leprechaun last night at sunset. Because yes. I was going out for my walk and like rounded the corner and I was like, wait a second, I saw you, I'll come play with you, but no mischief. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta watch for the leprechauns though, because they're quite mischievous. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, <laughs> that's tell what us about the leprechauns. Yeah, tell us about the leprechauns. And they are um, the manifestations of of the earth. Mm. Um, we have the animal kingdom, we have the human kingdom, the plant kingdom, mineral kingdom, uh, and there's also like a, a more supernatural, otherworldly kingdom that exists within our field, within this realm of existence, but. Because humans over the millennia have became so disconnected from yeah. the natural world, we've lost touch with nature. And we came to get in touch with nature, baby. Beltana marks the in-between time of spring blossoming into summer. So through the portal we go. <laughs> I'm just so grateful to be here. And just that there is land that's yeah, magical and that there are people that have held on to the traditions and that revere the mother and see the earth as a living being, as a goddess, as as a, a mother, as someone who cares for us all and nurtures us all to understand like what ancient magic is here. I can like feel my roots in this ground. <laughs> it's just so amazing. Honestly, I didn't want to be Irish. I wanted to be exotic like all my friends like Brazilian and whatever like something else just to be sitting at the feet of this beautiful representation of Mother Earth is touching me deeply. <laughs> Ireland is a root with Mother Earth, Gaia, Pachamama. This is a Neolithic tradition going back 5,000 years. You can see all the fires going, we've 12 other fires going, as soon as this one goes, boom, 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 like this. And that means it's summertime, we party. We party here for the whole month. <laughs> That's when the magic happens, eh? Yeah. We've got 5,000 people here taking part in this magic. Wow. You know, and, and the energy of all of these people coming together and it's all for the same thing. You know, it's not a festival, this is a gathering of tribes. 
We are about to reenact an ancient druid rite. We take the spark of the flame from the center of the eye of the goddess Iru, and then we walk in silence in a procession the way that a fire spreads, the way that it ignites and forges its own path. And then we light the second eye so that the goddess is fully awake, fully alive. Allow our hearts to be open wide so that we may receive and emanate all of the unconditional love in all the world. The highest frequency of the universe. Embodying our own innate divinity, accessing and actualizing our greatest powers. Being asked to participate in the procession was such a deep honor. To uphold this sacred tradition made all my Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, myths of Avalon fantasies just come alive. And there were people from all walks of life, single moms, blue collar guys, and just like at any festival, your classic hula hooping hippies. I'm so used to practicing my rituals alone, to have thousands of people come together with one shared intention Honoring the earth and the cycles of nature was a profoundly powerful moment for me. I just was shedding everything, burning away any limiting beliefs, negative programs, any bullshit that is continued, that has continued to limit my innate divinity from being fully embodied. Any stories, any programs, any lies and illusions that I have been allowing myself to play into. I just felt all of that and then went in with the like, I'm gonna burn this shit away. And I went up thinking about it, like any worry, any doubt, any fear, any concern about my mission or anything, anything that tells me that who I am is wrong or bad or too much or not enough. And I just took all of that and just right into that place. Dude, it's just so beautiful. The whole point of any fire ritual or burning anything is to just fucking let all the shit die. All the old shit die. And you just throw it into the fire. And this fire is about what's coming and the harvest and the summer and all the fun and all the play and all the sex and all the pleasure and all the life that just is so ignited during the summer. And it's just such an incredible feeling.